I think uh, when we first went to Puyallup, it was uh, really kind of horrifying because, geez, uh, you know, uh, um, you know, we were going to live in shacks that were worse than anything we ever had, you know, worse than any outbuildings that I've seen on people's farms. And um, the first thing we were asked to do was to uh, get ourselves a mattress cover and and go fill it with hay at this great big hay pile, you know. And so we uh, went and uh, did that. And then we were we were issued uh, cots, these uh, folding canvas cots, and we unfolded them and they put them in our room. And geez, uh, you know the the rooms were really cubby holes. I mean, they weren't really this size, and uh, you know, four of us had the four of us slept in that thing. And there was uh, once you put the beds out, heck, I mean, you know, there was hardly any room for moving. But the uh, walls of these barracks went up only maybe uh, seven, eight feet, and then from there it was all open. So heck, uh, the the uh, the conversations going on or babies crying down the barrack could be heard all over. It really, um, it was really a terrible, you know, for us, uh, you know, as teenagers, uh, heck, I mean, you know, it was. No big problem, I mean, but uh, gee, for people with kids, you know, I mean, they had to, they had to shush the kids up, you know, because you know the bothers the whole barrack and stuff like that. Must have been terrible for them.